So here we are with sequence Z. Anjia kagi series samboli apuru. Hari marai mang okam kaya bisa dengkar ne penan mukakat ne. Very sorry ya. Anjia all dressed up and very pretty, pretty, aren't we? Gamani Fonseca's gift to the Sri Lankan cinema, apart from his creation and his own performances, uh, was also uh, Angela Sinigaratna. You can talk for hours and hours and hours. So please talk. I wish you wouldn't touch on this subject because it makes me very uh, emotional. Um, his gift to me uh, was my career and also my two children who I treasure more than life itself. Uh, Gamini, I don't know whether he thought of me as a, as a lifelong actress because when he cast me in Koti Valgir, um, he took me away from cinema for a few years and it was just by chance. Why that was that? Away from cinema? Uh, he had his beliefs that uh, his partner should be at home, a wife and mother. So uh, uh, he also thought that this career, showbiz career would, would in some way, minute or in some way. Take you away from him? Take, uh, no, bring problems into the relationship. Uh, he was, and I make no bones about it, he was very insecure. Uh, all great men are insecure. <laughs> so he was, and he had his reservations about the, the industry itself on a personal basis, and life itself. As a human being, what did you learn from him? Not as an actress, as a human being. He's very magnanimous, he's very um, uh, kind in his heart. But at the end of the day, he is human. Viola. So human is susceptible to error, susceptible to faults. We all are. And uh, uh, his success professionally was not in comparison with his failure uh, in his personal life. As an actress, what did you learn from him? Patience commitment, passion and also respect for the elders and those you work with. It's very important and also timing, time. You spoke of Koti Walegia. There were you in a pair of uh, hot pants, uh, inspector's wife and the neighbours were Arthur C. Clarke and his young uh, and his wife Gita Kumara Singha. Uh, your first film, uh, were you in awe, were you intimidated? Were you, what was it like? It was not my first film. My okay. first film was Paradige. And Paradige. Uh, yes. And uh, uh, of course, I didn't think that I would be an actress. Kodi Bhagya was my first feature film. Okay. And I, I totally amateur in it. Um, uh, the story, the character of, of that girl in, in Koti Vagya was completely different to what the script said. So... What I was she supposed to be? Uh, she She's a burger girl? A burger girl. A luscious burger girl. luscious burger girl <laughs> who lived next door, <laughs> who had her little inclinations to... to, mm. to uh, mm. <coughs> the mm. word is prohibited. Mm. <laughs> so, I um, spoke with the director and... and during the course of the shooting, he just changed his character into something, quite something else than what it was in the in the script, and thereby I won my first um, main award for for acting, and that sort of encouraged me. Uh, working with him is just an experience. Everyone who has worked with him will tell you that it's such an experience. It's such a learning experience because he himself is very committed is very passionate about what he does. So I hold in the highest of esteem my few years with him as, as a student actress and also his partner. Angie, how proud was he of his two daughters with you? Uh, he was proud of all his children, all six of them. Um, the, Youngest ones came quite late in his life, so it was a new experience having a little babies and little toddlers. So was he patient with them? Little oh. little kids screaming well, and moaning Sometimes crying. not. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes he was very vociferous and sometimes their memories of him was of, of being a very hard parent. But so was I. 
Now, looking back, what would be your most pleasant memory of Gavani Fonseca? The most pleasant was the day that Kaushi was born and it was a whole new experience for him and I saw this light in his face that I, I would hold in my heart forevermore. I'd like to close with this last question. You can close the, this sequence, Anji. Uh, what would be your most, your saddest and most unpleasant memory of Gamani Fonseca? The day I walked into the house and I saw Gamini holding forth with the media at his feet, making an announcement that he was going into politics, my heart broke because that is not a stage for him. I wish he didn't. I wish he remained just the artist that he was and ever will be in people's hearts.